Hello guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to create this effect that I just posted a month ago and then I disappeared. I'm gonna show you a very simple scene of how you can do that. We're not gonna make the exact same scene, so let's add a plane here. I'm gonna scale it along the X axis and then extrude it up right there. Let's add in some loop cuts in there. And let's get in a displacement modifier on this. And I'm going to apply both of these modifiers. Now next thing is of course go to the geometry nodes and make something that works with our simulation. So let's get in the pin group right there. And now I'm going to store named attribute. I'm going to get a cube or a sphere right there. I'm going to apply the scale on this one. And now let's transform geometry and grape along the x-axis just like this. I want to get the proximity, so get a proximity node and get the distance from the faces to a math node and now connect it to the value. Now if you preview these, you will see here is a little bit of black area which we can control from this math node. Yeah. And you can also invert this whole thing well, let's get in a color ramp then. It's the easiest way to understand this. So flip the color ramp now. If I play with this, you can see what it does. It's just like a growing effect. Bring that back to zero. Insert a keyframe for the value. Select that. And we're going to go to frame 140. And just bring that back like this. I'm going to insert the keyframe again with I. And... 150 is going to be the end of our scene. Let's go to properties and I'm going to open my geometry nodes up here. Now in here what we're going to do is go to object, quick effects, and then we're going to go to the quick smoke. And now set the resolution to a bit higher and the end frame is going to be 150. Check is resumable. Select that object now and then make it far plus smoke. This is going to be a, I don't know, let's try geometry first. Now we have a vertex group in our smoke object. Let's select this geometry node and right here, let's create a new vertex group and name this as pin. Now in there, you're going to see a point pin float. So I'm going to select that. We're sending this float data right over to our vertex groups. So now we can use it in our simulation. And I'm going to select the pin group in the vertex group right there. I'm going to play this. Let's select inflow in there. Now if I play this, you can see the effect is already working. So this is a very simpler version of this tutorial. I don't want to make things complicated. And you can try your own scenes, your own lighting setups and stuff like that. And that's it for the video. And I hope I'll see you in the next one because I'm finally free from my personal projects. And we're going to do some cool stuff together. Bye bye.